everybody, it's Perez, joined by one of my obsessions, Cher Lloyd. A lot of you watching right now may not be in the UK, but you know of her because I keep talking about her every single week. First of all, Cher, congratulations. You Thank you. You the semi-final. Are you, are you excited? Are you nervous? Um, How are you feeling right now? Every single emotion under the sun is what I'm feeling right now. And now I've heard that uh, this weekend you're going to be performing uh, club classics. Do you do you do you know your songs yet? Can you tell us? Can you share? What what can you tell us? I know my song, but if I told you, then it wouldn't be a surprise anymore. <laughs> and are you happy with your choices this week? Of course I am. I've been working my butt off. But on X Factor, you don't get to pick the, the songs. Your, your mentor gives them to you, and your mentor is Cheryl. I'd love to see you do, like, a Donna Summer song, because that would start slow, Donna Summer, like a ballad, and then halfway into it, it gets into, like, an up-tempo number. That... <laughs> Are you doing a Donna Summer song? No. <laughs> If you are, that would call that would mean that I'm psychic and that Cheryl and I are on a, like a very really similar wavelength. Yeah. I think you should. <laughs> um, did did you have any idea you would make it this far? No, because on my first ever audition, I felt like I I should just drop out because there were so many people there, and I didn't think that I'd I'd ever ever make it. Why did you why did you audition for X Factor in the first place? Like, you know, you you don't seem like the kind of t contestant that would normally audition for X Factor. Because I wanted to make X Factor different and I wanted to make it worldwide. And you you've been a fan of the show for a while? Yeah, forever. From the day it first ever started, but I was so young and I knew that I couldn't do it at that time and I wasn't experienced enough. But now I am and that's why I'm here. And what I think is so exciting about you is, you know, there, there's the competition aspect of the show. But, yeah. But then there's, like, a real aspect of, okay, what happens after the show? And I, and I don't say this unless I mean it. I really think you are the most exciting pop star on that <gasps> program. And, and I'm most excited to see what you do after. And I think you have the most appeal globally. And I'm sure, and I hope, listen, actually, I need to have a talking to Simon Cowell because <laughs> I, I think he might be putting too much attention and focus, obviously, on the One Direction, but I don't think One Direction has as much global appeal as Cher Lloyd does. And that's just my opinion. Thank you. Uh, how uh, removed are you from, from everything? Like, when you're in the house there, do you have the opportunity to, like, go online and maybe see what people are saying? No, no, um... I try and make sure that I don't get too caught up in what people are saying about me because some of it is so good that I don't want to accept it just in case my dreams are completely just shattered. So basically I try not to listen. And there are some, some, some everybody has haters or, or critics and that, that comes along with being very successful. Uh, what do you say to those people that... Um, find the rapping annoying, or they don't like the rapping that you, when you do that. Think of me as Marmite, right? I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and I, I'm never ever gonna be. But there's nothing I can do about that. And then what do you say to those people, because I, I don't see you as this at all, but I, you know, part of my job is to, to, to be informed of what everybody's saying. What do you say to those people that think, oh, she's just a chav. There's so many people like her, you know, there's nothing special about her. She's a chav. I think, or whatever. <laughs> whatever it is. Do you know what? It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Nobody's going to die. And basically all I'm thinking about is the people that are supporting me because they're the reason why I'm doing it in the first place. All the haters. Who cares about the haters? What do you, what, how would you respond to, maybe not haters, but those that think that you're almost a little too similar to Cheryl, and that you're kind of obsessed with Cheryl, that you're trying to be baby Cheryl? <laughs> oh my god! I rap and sing on the same track. <laughs> Cut me a bit of slack, I work my butt off to be so different. Hello! <laughs> I, 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 you know how those 13-year-old girls are to the One Direction lads? I'm like a 13-year-old girl for sure. Yes, that's what I need. Why aren't there any screaming?
screaming 13 year old girls for me? There's 13 year old gays screaming for me. Yes! That's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish you the best of luck. It was lovely chatting, and I hope that. I insist that you demand you come out to America soon. Yes, I want to. Have you ever been out here? No, and it's been my total dream. You need to come out here. You need to work with American producers, American talent, and actually... You know, there's already been so many people, like even Will I Am has come forward saying that... He wants to sign you, that he wants to work with you. Like, that's really exciting. I know. Yeah. If you could work with anybody here in America, any any artists, any producers, any rappers, who's like on your dream wish list? I'd want to do a track with Nicki Minaj. Oh, I love her. I interviewed her recently. She's very fresh. Oh my god, she is completely the best thing that ever, ever walked on this earth. You should, after you get on this show, just do one of her songs just for fun. Yeah! Well, I hope to, to meet you in person one day and I will be watching this weekend. Thank you so much. Okay, bye. bye. bye.